welcome to my keto kitchen I'm Victoria and today I'm going to bring you another milk recipe so those of you that are new to my channel please consider my channel a big science experiment I am NOT a keto youtuber that will put one thing out and leave it there and then move on to something different I am constantly trying to make everything that I do better and better and better whether it's something new that may come out that I've never heard of before or something I just simply did not think about I am giving you guys as many options as I can possibly come up with so today I'm going to bring you a milk recipe that I have not brought you guys before I made this milk this last week I loved it. My kids even like this milk, okay? There is a very unique, very special taste to this milk. Now, this is the most tasty milk that I have come up with yet. This milk is 4.5 carbs, net carbs per cup. So this is a higher amount of carbs for this milk, which could be why my kids like this milk the most. They say that it has a special taste. It has a special flavor. And I made some lattes and cappuccinos with my espresso maker over there this week. And I made more than one, drink it all the way down to the bottom. Usually I don't drink all of the latte or the cappuccino. Once it gets down to the bottom, I don't always go back and heat it up. I do go back and heat up my black coffee. I love black coffee. That's actually my favorite. But when I'm making cappuccinos and lattes, once I get near the bottom, I'm usually done. But this time, I reheated it and drank every bit of it because there is something unique in the taste of this milk. It makes everything taste gourmet, like a very, very rich milk. So, I'm going to give you guys the recipe today. I hope you enjoy it. If you make it for yourself, please go over to my Facebook. Tell everybody what you think. Put it in the comments down below. I highly recommend my Facebook page where you can post pictures. I believe you can even put little clips of videos. Things like that. Just go over there. You can get so much help. There's so many sweet people. Such a great community over there. I think you would all really enjoy it. If you like to see different recipes that have been made with Victoria's Keto Flour, my Keto Flour 2.0, all the different flours, they they are constantly making the most amazing things. So I'll put the recipes in their comments. I highly recommend my Facebook page. So if you get the opportunity, please go over there and check it out. But for now, let's make this milk. Okay, I just washed this because like I said, I made this milk this week and me and my children drank it. So I have a half of a gallon glass jar right here. I'll link this in the description box below. And with this, there is a total of eight cups. We'll fill half of a gallon because there's 16 cups in a full gallon. This is a half of a gallon. And I am going to pour the special ingredient in this milk is actually one can of evaporated milk. One can of evaporated milk is 36 carbs. And one can is 12 ounces. So right here I have a 12 ounce can of organic evaporated milk. I mentioned to you guys that because of my epilepsy, I'm trying to do as much organic as I can. One can is 36 carbs. Now, we divide the 36 carbs by the eight cups and we get four and a half carbs per cup. So, I am going to open this up. Okay, so this is going to go in first, the whole can, the entire 12 ounces. There we go. And now I am going to fill this up to the top with water. That is it, be right back. Okay, so I have just filled this up with water. Do you see how rich this is? This is a very rich milk. And what I can say is when you are making cakes, say a vanilla cake or a chocolate cake, the outcome of that cake is so much better if you use this milk. Because this milk has a very, very rich 
taste to it. And that taste gets incorporated into any of the baked goods that you need to add a milk to. I'm telling you, this brings out that chocolate. This brings out that vanilla cake batter taste. There is something very special about this milk in anything that you bake that calls for milk. Now, my kids like this milk in their cereal. They just say it makes the cereal taste better. There is something different about this milk. Now, traditional milk, we know one cup is 12 carbs. Okay, that's just a regular, regular milk in your fridge, 12 carbs per cup. This is four and a half carbs per cup, and I love to listen to my children because anytime my children like something, they're innocent in their taste, they're just innocent in their thoughts and what they're coming up, what they're telling me. And when they say, oh, I like that milk, it makes my cereal taste better, then I know that is something special. Like, there's something really good about that. So if you were to use this milk in anything that you bake, you can expect the outcome of what you're baking to be richer in taste, fuller in flavor. So, if you make this, please let me know. Please go over to Facebook or write it down in the comments. Tell us what you think. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope you all have a blessed day.